Hello people, my name is Johannes Ferry. I am a seminarian of the congregations of the missions of Indonesia. And right now, I am still undergoing my master program. In this video, I will share my personal experience that I have experienced in the formations in the major seminary of the congregations of the missions of Indonesia. The seminary, the formations, has changed me a lot to be a better person. And this is one of the most beautiful things in my whole life. If I think back now, every single thing that I have gone through made me who I am right now. And this is why I'm excited, really excited to be here. The formations, the Mayor Seminary, helped me, helped me a lot to know myself. And yes, knowing myself is one of the most beautiful thing I get from the formations. The formator, in this case, guide me and help me to reflect, especially on my past. No one can change her or his past or to reply what has done in her or his past. The only thing that we can do is taking all of them as they are, no matter how bad or good they are. And slowly, slowly, by knowing myself, I learn to take myself just the way I am. And slowly, I know what is inner drive within me, what is my real motivation in this life, especially in my vocations, and what, what, what I want from this life. And I'm going to share you my personal experience. I was born in a small village, in the isolated place, remote place, in West Borneo. West Borneo is one of the biggest islands in my home country here in Indonesia. Both of my parents are farmers. They just finished their elementary school. So I come from family with education is not considered as something important. My mother educated me in a strict way. She was really, really strict. She commanded and insisted me a lot to do what she wanted me to do. And in many time, in many time, and somehow, she could be so angry, so fury, if I didn't do the thing like what she instructed, like what she commanded. And sometimes, she even hit me. In many times, she even hit me. And she almost never gave such a good appreciation when I did something good that I actually deserve. And I was only a little boy on that time. I was only a little boy and I, I didn't realize that it would have a big influence in my whole life then. And somehow, it was difficult for me to see my childhood in a perspective, in a positive perspective. And in the negative side, in the negative side, I grew up as a lack of love and appreciation persons. And I will find the way to fulfill what I call empty space in my life. When I was a teenager, when I was a teenager, I was so ambitious to be successful or well-known person I thought popularity was everything and it meant to be the greatest strife in life. And I didn't want to blame somebody else or my mother for that situation. I just want to tell you the experience that made me who I am right now and how I struggle to form myself. And in the seminary, I say my problem to the formator honestly. And I think honesty is the main key in the formations. No transformations or no self-renewal without honesty. And no honesty without knowing ourselves. So I think knowing, knowing ourselves, knowing myself is the main key in the formations. And fortunately, my formator are really nice they, they they listen to me and they they guide me to reflect and to see the love of God 
in my life. They convinced me that God loved me. So this is the most important thing. And slowly, slowly, I learned to take myself just the way I am. So I think this is the most beautiful thing I get from the formations. The seminary, the seminary also teaches me to live with purpose. That is to share the love of God to other. God has loved me and I have to love God by loving other in return. And that is why I want to be a priest. And I think this is this is the best way to love God by loving other. And yeah, of course, of course, this is not the only way or being a priest is not the only way. But again, life is about choice. And I think being a priest is once of the best, the best way uh, to share the love of God to other. And for me, talking about vocations of being a priest or a missionary priest is really interesting and also challenging as well. And many people, uh, especially the friends of mine, they often ask me these questions. Oh, why do you want to be a priest? Why do you want to be a priest? And some even say, oh, come on, are you crazy? And for them, for them, as if being a priest is like something crazy and as if a vocation of being a priest is not an option of life you know like being a teacher or a doctor which is not true and the seminary the seminary again uh, teaches me that to live with purpose and the purpose is uh, to share the love of god to other and and i think uh, being a priest is one of the best way to, to love God by loving other. I wanted to be a priest since I was in senior high school. And of course, until now, yeah, until now, of course. And not just a priest, you know, not just a priest, but a priest who is going for a mission. And I think it will be marvelous if I can go from one place to another in bearing the witness of Christ as needed even to isolated places like PNG, Africa, Solomon Islands, and other places uh, in bearing the witness of Christ. And in short, yeah, in short, the seminary prepared me to be a missionary, uh, to be a missionary priest. And considering I'm still young, uh, it's normal if sometimes I am not so sure I feel discouraged, but one of the formator once told me this beautiful quote, if you radically obey God, God will radically protect you. So I want to stick to my commitment to be a priest and bearing the witness of Christ by being a missionary who is afraid anyway. Before making this video, I discuss with my my friends about what kind of future, uh, what what kind of formation we expect, and most of us, most of us say, human formation. Formation must be human formations. Uh, it means the formation has to take the human formations as the main priority. No spiritual formations. No intellectual formations or no apostolic formation without human formation. So I think human formations must come first and then after that the other formations will follow. By personal communications we learn not to judge the book from its cover. Just by seeing the cover or reading the hypnosis at a glance then we can judge if the book is good or bad, readable or not. We have to read that book fully and then we judge. So I think personal, personal communications or personal thoughts is the best method, is the best way in the formations to know each other better. 
So I think this is all what I can share. Thank you for your attention. And again, sorry for my English. Thank you.